lot of you millennials keep asking, where's Tom from MySpace? Some of you even feel bad he's disappeared from the radars. Don't feel bad for Tom. He's living a charming life. For many folks, one of their first encounters with social media was MySpace. The first friend we all received on the platform was a swell-looking, smiling dude named Tom Anderson, MySpace founder. You see, Tom invented MySpace, which became a phenomenon for you and all of your buddies. It was pretty much the rock star of social media platforms until Zuckerberg and Facebook came along. Welcome to Calculated Chaos. So, whatever happened to Tom from MySpace? Is he living the good rich guy life? Is he struggling and wants to get at least a piece of his previous reputation back? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. I put myself as this person that could connect everyone else so you'd see people right when you signed up. That was the idea. Spoiler alert, Tom appears to have luxuriated in the most chill life many people only dream of. Tom sold MySpace for an enormous $580 million. Not all of that sum went to him, but he still got a significant portion of the deal. The man who popularized social media and effectively originated Facebook before Facebook is now enjoying a fantasy retirement. He's taken up surfing, investing, and photography. Most of the time, he travels the world and ultimately lives a seemingly carefree existence. Tom's generally stayed out of the limelight, so whenever he publishes a new social media post or pops up in pictures, people do notice. His journeys have taken him to various countries across the globe, and his name started trending online again a year ago when MySpace founder was penned by Twitter user Jack Murphy. Remember Tom? Remember how he just sold his 500 million share in MySpace and retired so he could live a nice life? He never sold our data, never tried to influence elections, never lobbied against privacy legislation. What a man. MySpace was just too pure for this world. Being a man of few words, Tom simply replied with three emojis that sent Twitter a buzz. It again had people wondering just what happened to the social network father. First of all, Tom's net worth is pretty damn high. The man owns an astonishing $65 million. The San Diego native is turning 51 this year. Wait, what? Has this script been fact checked? And by his Instagram, he supports others and engages folks online. However, from the looks of his IG account, it appears that a lot of time has been spent capturing utterly breathtaking images and videos. They deserve a particular minute since they're so damn dope, so stick close. But what happened with MySpace after Tom went on a journey of his life? In 2005, Tom made a deal with Rupert Murdoch's News Corp and sold MySpace for a startling $580 million. And how the News Corp thing sort of come together. And it, that, it, we made a great choice, I think. You know, a lot of people were looking at buying it, and News Corp has been, I think, smart enough to let us continue to do what we do and really keep hands off. Tom and his co-founder, Chris DeWolf, left with fat paychecks from the sale while MySpace, well, let's just say it became utterly obsolete in a mere few years. Fashion and all these things, I didn't really expect it. I'm not a cool guy, you know, I didn't expect that to happen, so I don't know how it happened. People asked, did you know it was going to be big? And that was the plan. I mean, we were thinking very big. News Corp would eventually sell it to Viant for $35 million, while Viant once again sold it for an amount that wasn't disclosed. Yeesh. Sounds like a lousy deal for News Corp and like a solid one for Tom. A few years ago, when there was pure hate poured onto Facebook for the way it handled user data and literally sold it off to advertisers, Tom had some laughs at the expense of Zuckerberg's platform. Futurism tweeted a funny cartoon regarding the MySpace co-founder remaining our only hope when it came to a safe social media site. Tom had reportedly retweeted it. Tom is famous for being a total globetrotter, traveling the world to different hotspots and music festivals. It all started after attending Burning Man in 2011. He generally enjoys the millions he made, but he also enjoys trolling people online who try to rival him when it comes to the sarcasm field, so please don't come for Tom. Like one poor fella who seemingly got under the entrepreneur's skin when Tom had some critiques for those upset over Instagram's changes. The poor guy, ex-follower Polo Tapia, tweeted at MySpace Tom saying, says the guy that was not able to keep a social network alive. Stern words from the deleted forever account. Why was the account deleted, you ask? Well, because of the bold and savage response Tom answered with. 
says the guy who sold MySpace in 2005 for $580 million while you slave away hoping for a half day off. The social media mogul actually hasn't been posting the social media much as of late. However, we know that he purchased a $3.8 million home in West Hollywood that belonged to Drew Taggart from the Chainsmokers. He hasn't trolled anyone in a while, which is likely just because he's probably too busy just enjoying his life. Seems like he doesn't have use for social media after getting everything he could out of it. Now, let's talk more about his photography. Over the years, Tom has shared pictures from caves in Iceland, the Sahara Desert, he's taken to the skies over the Philippines, visited Bhutan, and drove over the salt flats of Bolivia. MySpace Tom basically had the best 2010s out of everyone. Honorable mention, if it wasn't for MySpace Tom, we would never have had Tom Hardy's MySpace page. The Revenant star was once pretty energetic and active on MySpace, and he would occasionally blog about his daily activities like when he rescued a kitten. He'd post photos that would range from hilarious to kind of cringy, depending on who you asked. But it's genuinely fascinating, especially considering the way his acting career absolutely took off. And let's never forget Tom Hardy's wonderfully long MySpace bio that is thankfully screen capped and shared all over the internet for the world to remember. Absolutely tremendous. So you'll get local stuff and you'll get international stuff as well, but the idea is to, to give people what they're interested in here. What a diverse and seemingly random life Tom from MySpace had. But is it that bad? We would like to end this video with a quote from Tom himself. If you knew me before MySpace, you'd probably thought I'd have a scholar teaching philosophy in a university my whole life. If you met me before college, you'd probably have thought I'd be a musician for my entire life. I like change. Let this encourage you too. Tom Anderson has constantly been changing his hobbies for his entire life, passionately following his dreams and still hugely successful. Be like my friend Tom, follow your dreams. Despite the fall of MySpace being commonly attributed to the rise of Facebook, Tom seems to bear no ill feelings and even has his own page on the social media platform, so feel free to head over sometime to catch up with an old friend. That's all for today's video, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. Have a great day, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.